Thanks, Mark. My name's Wes Doss, and we're here at the Swanson Tactical Training Center. And what you've just seen is a armed robbery scenario at an ATM machine. This is a situation that's fairly common for a citizen. They have their back turned to the world. They're accessing their life savings. And somebody comes out of the dark and attacks them. We're gonna go through this one more time, uh, taking it a little bit slower, breaking it down step by step, and showing you exactly where Crimson Trace laser drips really come into their own. Mark, are you ready? Okay. I'm coming up to the ATM machine to take money out to do something, and I'm totally oblivious to the world around me when somebody comes out of the shadows and attacks me. I'm taken to the ground, and because we're in such close proximity, there's just no time for me to come up into a traditional firing position and access my weapon. Because I have Crimson Trace laser grips, I'm able to project my sights directly onto the target, right in front of me, as opposed to coming up in a traditional sighted firing position. I'm able to put accurate fire on this bad guy and actually end this situation as fast as it started. Whether I'm laying here on my back, if I've rolled off to my side, from literally any position. Thanks, Mark. Now, what you've just seen is one of an infinite number of situations that could take place out in the real world where traditional iron sights and traditional shooting positions just aren't going to help. In fact, they're going to put you in a position of disadvantage. Now we're going to head out to the live fire range and we're going to explore a few more. That's just an example of what you can do with Crimson Chase laser grip from a disadvantaged position. Let's go and try something else. In an armed encounter, you're likely to take cover behind anything that's available. And by taking cover behind anything that's available, you're likely to place yourself in a position of disadvantage or in an uncomfortable position. First off, I'm going to start back down on the ground, shooting into a low position such as like simulating a curb or, or maybe the space underneath a vehicle. Okay, I'm in a position down there that's quite likely shooting behind a wheel or around some sort of boxed curb or something that you might find out on the street. I had absolutely no vision on my sights. The only thing that I could put on the target was the laser dot. Projected it directly on the target from the distance I'm shooting at. You have no idea where you're gonna end up when you're seeking cover in a high stress or high duress situation. You might be able to get the weapon around one side of a piece of cover and you might be able to get your head around the other. It just might not be conducive to get your head and your face behind the weapon and get side acquisition with that weapon. So here I've got the weapon out, one of the portals on this barricade, and I'm actually looking at the laser beam on the target from a completely different perspective on the target. I've got complete and total side acquisition, I've got good accurate fire, and I'm able to place good accurate hits consistently on the target, and I'm not behind the weapon. Now with traditional firearms training, coming around a corner of a piece of barricade, in order to get side acquisition, see my front sight through my rear sight and get those sights on the target, I've got to expose a tremendous amount of my body as well as the side of my head, putting me in, in sort of a tactical disadvantage, if you will. Now, if I go from this position and I go immediately into utilization of the laser as opposed to standard sights, I'm able to take the laser just off from my body, exposing a lot less of myself around this target. I don't have to find the sights on the weapon. I don't have to get my eye directly behind the weapon. I just simply have to bring the weapon up and get the laser dot on the target. Let's go look at some other unconventional shooting positions. Let's say you've made that responsible decision to flee the scene and get away. The bad guy's going to force your hand. He's going to continue to pursue you. Do you turn, taking the time to engage him, or do you continue moving forward? Do you engage him from the rear? How do you make that shot without a laser on your weapon? It's impossible. You can't gain sight acquisition when you're completely inverted. I'm going to show you how. I'm fleeing from the bad guy. I have my back to him. I'm going to stop and plant. Laser on the target. And that's how it works. Now let's go take a look at the tight, cramped, confined spaces of a motor vehicle. Come on. 
an individual driving down the road, stop at a stoplight or a stop sign, becoming engaged by a bad guy off to the driver's side of the vehicle, how am I going to gain standard sight acquisition with my weapon? It's difficult in the confined space of a vehicle, except with the use of Crimson Trace laser grips. And that's just another example of an awkward shooting position where the use of Crimson Trace laser grips could save your life.